Hi everybody. This is a new thing for me. I'm going to describe what's going on, what I did to work on this project. I found a bag of letters and was testing to see what I could do with them. And once I got an idea, I made a layout on my panel and started. I sorted the letters first, as you can see, uh, according to shapes, and then I started laying them out. It was quite time consuming, as you may imagine. But I find that a little bit fun too. Very peaceful, quiet, minding my own business. Kind of nice. Anyway, um, yeah, just keep on laying down letters and letters and letters. I had sorted through the letters uh, that I found in the secondhand store and noticed that there were particular ones missing. Um, and so I wrote down the ones that I had missing and kind of decided what it might, what they might have been used for. And I think I've discovered that they were used for maybe the Department of Defense uh, in our local city years ago. These are the kind of letters that are, that you would lick and stick on things. So, um, they were a little bit um, curly, curled, but very old. So I'm still being very careful not to touch the letters that I have laid down already. Um, but at this point, I think I'm beginning to realize that um, I shouldn't, I should maybe glue down what I have before I continue on. Keeping all the letters in envelopes and there I have, uh, it's probably some sort of varnish, something thin, fairly thin, so that it, it doesn't push the letters. I think it's an acrylic varnish. So now I'm just, um, I don't have a plan. I have an idea. Um, I had an idea that I wanted to do something circular. And now I'm just putting down what I think might fit in my design. And lo, lo and behold, the next day when I came back, I noticed the uh, letters were fade, uh, not fading, bleeding. The, le the letters were bleeding pink. You can see that on there, which means, and I've had experience with this before, uh, laying down other colored items. When I put glue on them, the um, and even gesso, then the whatever color uh, was uh, was that was the whatever color they were a part of came through, and so in the end I had to once I was finished I put a few coats of bin B I M on top after the glue had dried, and that covers up kind of seals the the bleeding. I tried to use as many letters as I could. So after the first layer, I had more and I thought, okay, we'll go this way. Making adjustments. Little adjustments. Gluing and then adding more and then gluing and adding more. That's my process. Rulers are important to me anyway. Oh, <laughs> I'm watching and I see <laughs> I see the boo boos I made and I had to fix. Oh, does that say ha 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 ha? Or is it just all H's? I don't remember. It would have been funny if it was an H A H A. But I'm just still looking at the shapes of the letters and what kind of texture they might create. So I'm not really putting words down. Um, although I see some of the letters, if you look vertically or horizontally, they spell mom. 
or a wow, depending on what direction you look at. You look at them. Okay, now I'm kind of playing with my design, trying to see what I can add for interest, movement, making it as, uh, well, making it a little more lively, I think, because the circle, circles and the lines were fairly static. So this was a fairly long thinking process for me, trying different things. I added uh, just some more texture around the corners. The, those were the empty pieces, the little pieces that came out of the letters. And I thought, oh, that'll make an interesting texture, so I glued them down. Oh, I'm adding more letters right now. I'm not thinking about the final result at all because I don't know what it's going to be. I just have an idea. The texture gives me an idea of what I want to create. There you can see I'm putting on the bin. So the texture is what motivates me first. And once I lay down the texture, of course it's always secondhand stuff or things from my own home, junk drawers and things like that. So then um, took a couple layers of bin. Now I'm just playing with color and I don't really know what I'm doing. Just playing with some colors that I like. What I do know is what I don't want. So as I'm working and adding color and adding textures, I can see what I don't want and then I try to change that. I paint over and over and over and over until I'm happy with it. And I really liked these colors. But only a little bit of that will end up showing through. And that was a mistake. <laughs> I think that purple was a mistake. But once you put a color down, it's for for this work, there's no going back. Well, I guess I, I could totally paint it over with gesso again and start, but there was some of that color that I did like. More experimenting with color. Let's see, what does that look like? I like the green, kind of lime green. Other greens, pink. That's real eye candy, isn't it? I don't know why I can't leave these things. Very sweet. It's very sweet to the eye. Anyway, more green, different kinds of greens. Green kind of undoes the pink. Still don't know what I'm doing. It's a little bit like a planet now. I like that orange. Difficult. It's difficult for me to um, 
do a voiceover I'm finding because I'm not the kind of person that talks and talks and talks and talks. Oh, blue. That's nice. I like that blue. Some of the, uh, the effects of these colors are, are really nice. But I think what I decide, what I was thinking at the time is it's still not at a complete, it's not, it's not near a completed work. I did get frustrated for a while after I put these nice colors on. I really liked the nice colors, but I don't know why I didn't leave them. Maybe I thought they weren't. Serious? Anyway, new days, every day that I come back to it, um, I get a different idea. And just go for it. So that's what I'm doing. Oh, I think that there were some painting stages I missed out here. I missed recording, probably due to frustration. Sometimes uh, it's, it takes uh, quite a bit of effort to put the, the iPhone up and record uh, when I'm planning to work. Sometimes I just want to go into my studio and start working and not do the recording. Um, so that's how that the color got to that point. And then I here I am again looking for something that might add to this to give it movement but not distract from the whole general idea. And I played and played and played. Wasn't very um, happy with my ideas in the end as you can see. Oh, now I come up with those little squirrels, and I think I like those. But they changed again. I like to see the video when the sun, when it's a sunny day, then you can see the sun coming through the window just moving moving along another day hmm those weren't bad that wasn't bad right there not bad But, hmm, I guess not. Oh, I had already started to glue one of those. I see. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. Oh, I have some very liquidy glue in a little bottle. I'm not sure if that was um, that was mm, acrylic medium or varnish or if it was thinned out glue. Sometimes I use thinned out white glue. Uh, I think for this one I might have used varnish. It's nice and thin. So there, I think I'm happy with that. Uh, but next morning I changed my mind because I thought the color was too dark. So the glue was it was dry but it wasn't totally set so I was able to pull the chains out. As you can see it took me a while. So then when I pulled those off I really liked the texture that was left from the gluing of the chains. So I thought, okay, let's play with that. So now I'm
painting the texture very carefully so that I can get a color that I want. I wanted something subtle. I felt that the, the uh, necklaces were a little bit dark. Those were glass beads, by the way. So I think I'm beginning to be happy with this, um, but not completely happy. So more paint. More um, kind of blocking in some shapes. So we can have some focus here. Nice peachy color. I have my piece sitting on a Lazy Susan. It was a little um, bamboo Lazy Susan that I got from the grocery store. Works great. Okay, now... Ha, what am I doing? I am getting darker and still really like that pastel -y effect there however as you can see <laughs> it got a lot of it was lost but that's all right I think I'm happy with what what I've got all the colors underneath are totally gone because I do a lot of thin glazing oh dear the air can the uh, dehumidifier just turned on so I'll speak a little louder. I'll have to, I might have to redo this, this video. Yeah, it's summertime and it's hot. And there we are, the finished product. Um, in case you're wondering, the music I had in the background was by John Tussie called Frequencies of Abundance. Thanks for watching.